released on August 7th, this abomination caused everything, from wince-inducing derision to crowd confusion to vicarious embarrassment to unintentional hilarity, and with words seemingly spread from within theaters, it sparked outrage from audience and fans, and the internet rioted in response. What the fuck happened? What the hell happened? What the fuck just happened in my life? There was not enough action in this film. I think they forgot one of the main rules of superhero movies is you want to see people using their powers. It plummets in free fall. Very anticlimactic. This should be an awesome movie. But I did not like this movie. This is a wildly sort of incomplete movie. It looks like someone went in there with a pair of scissors, just chopped out a whole bunch of shit, interjected some random mediocre nothingness, and said, hey, here's a movie. We got a Frankenstein mishmash monster mash of a movie. It reeks of studio interference. I don't know. It's crazy that Fox thought that this would be awesome. Ooh, shots, shots fired shots at his own face. In the heart. And you guys really didn't. You just didn't give a shit. No, they did not. It feels like they just chucked some garbage at us, slapped us around, and then rubbed our faces in it. And expected us to pay for it. Whether it be that someone's criticism was that there was a lack of cohesion, the jarring deviation, or even those saying that nothing happened, all of those reasons stem from the overarching major problem, studio interference. In that Fantastic Four was allegedly compromised in the editing room after executives hijacked the film from the storytellers. Let's start at the beginning. Development on a Fantastic Four reboot was announced in 2009 with plans for Akiva Goldsman to produce and Green Lantern writer Michael Green to pen the screenplay. And of course, many Fantastic Four and genre fans absolutely cringe because of Goldsman's past involvement in the Schumacher Batman series and who at that point had mixed results as a producer, coupled with rumors merging on the quality of Green Lantern, which we then later learned were all true. So years would pass without news on development until then CEO Tom Rothman confirmed in 2011 that Fantastic Four was in fact still in development but there existed skepticism because the same had been said for other Fox-owned Marvel properties without results. A month or so later, Variety reported that Chronicle director Josh Trank was not only reached out to, but was reported to be the frontrunner for the Fantastic Four reboot. However, Fox would be waiting to see how Chronicle performed on its release after Super Bowl weekend, but if it performed well, then they'd be extending an offer. In March, we first learned of what Trank was envisioning for the reboot, the focus being on character development and interpersonal dynamics. It's also around this time that it's believed that Max Max Landis' character-driven Avengers-influenced trilogy was also pitched, but we still lacked confirmation on whether or not Trank was directing it. In April, Rothman confirmed that Trank was at minimum involved in the development of the film, but there was still no official knowledge on whether he'd actually direct it. It was reported that Trank had several offers that he was considering at the time, including Sony's offers regarding a Venom solo movie and the PlayStation video game Shadow of Colossus being brought to the screen. Additionally, it was also reported that Warner Brothers had approached him to work on a gritty version of the Red Star. Finally. Months after initial news broke that Trank was the frontrunner, Fox provided official confirmation that Trank would indeed direct the Fantastic Four reboot, with Jeremy Slater coming on board to write the screenplay. However, the same day that Trank was announced to direct was also the same day that the public learned that the in-development project of Daredevil fell apart. Shortly thereafter, Tom Rothman announced his resignation. We're going to end this video here, but come back for part two. There is so much to document on this subject. Be sure to subscribe so that you are notified in your newsfeed when the next video is uploaded. Please remember to give this video a like and share it about, and feel free to comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. You people are awesome as always, and thanks for watching.